for the final time in the semi-finals we're going live into a brand new map it's going to be mirage big gambit one to one all to play for and the winner of this will go off to face against envious in the finals of the new york esl one qualifies here for the eu portion have the na portion coming up later again i've been joined by dust it's been a bit of a marathon day today all the maps going the uh distances or the map or the games i should say on the distances but uh, it should be a good one. I'm, I'm kind of curious as to how this one's going to play out. Yeah, I am as well. I mean, it's been kind of a, a day of, of one-sided maps, at least the last few maps we've done. I mean, the first two maps between the VNG2 were pretty close, but the third map between that two teams was uh, pretty lopsided. And the two maps we've seen this series have been lopsided, but for either team, which means we come to a third to decide things. And it will be on Mirage. It'll be big starting out on the T side. We will see a lot of utility being bought up by Gabi and Legia. Armor on the other three players. And uh, I imagine they're going for a smoke flash execute on the A bomb site. Very typical. Smoke's probably on jungle and stairs. They're going to look at push into CT spawn. And push Fitch back with flashes and plant. And that's, that's what we're going to see. Let's see if Big follow in those footsteps. I have four flashes. Nex is already out onto the site. So many smokes that really Gambit can't do anything about it at this stage. Just setting up for the retake. Do you have a kit? And if Grant has landed himself a headshot alongside the pitch, the flashes are going to serve. I'm really getting ah. any more frags out of this one. The Tabson and Legia are still alive. Still there to defend the bomb flash. Oh. But not for much longer. Fitch with a 4k. Once again. Stepping up when it's required for Gambit. And Big will concede this first round. Curious to see if they'll go for the the full buy or not. Dosia, I don't know if we expected to get that defuse, but mate, Fitch got four kills. Give him that defuse. He's earned it. So we will go to 1-0. Big did pretty much what you expect. I mean, it's very common to do that type of smoke execute on the A-bomb site. The thing is, it's so hard to plant, though, because if you only have two smokes, and you can only smoke off one side of the site, you know CT Swan is going to push you, so you can't really plant without putting flashes down and actually fighting CT. That's what they did, and they did get the plant, but it's a retake too strong. But as I say that, the upgraded pistols of Big are going to work out in middle, as they have gotten kills on Hobbit and Mo already, so they have a quick 5 on through. They're looking to boost to get an angle on someone pushing Catwalk now, but they do eat a nade in the process. Yeah, although the kills have gone their way, the nade is certainly starting to catch up with them. UMP is an M4. A golden opportunity for Big, though, to completely devastate Gambit. Adren's not going to let that happen for the time being. But B is pretty much a clear path. If they want to go for it, those here could try and stop them, but a UMP at this range is not going to be ideal. You'd have to get much closer. And in doing so, he'd give up short, and his mind, he wants to be more centralized. Going to be pushing out shortly. Taking point is Tabson. Solid movement. Dozier now is going to call to the rest of his team. The bomb is on the B side, and Dozier's only able to get the one kill. May not be good enough. He threw him on top onto the side. The idea there is to stop the plant for as long as possible before next domes a dren. It's all on Fitch. And he's going to get taken out by Keith. And Big have done it. They have completely destroyed the economy. And that's going to be one each. Yeah, the pistols really just went to work there for Big. Particularly those opening two kills at middle. Giving them the five on three. Really opened up their options. Able to shuffle up. And just play the numbers game at that point. You have a man advantage. You're able just to group all your remaining members and be apartments. Just flood out. Get the bomb planted. Hold off the retakes, some nice deagle work comes in from Key, particularly at the end. And before you know it, now you have stolen a round away. Now we have that scrappy beginning as it is going to be Gambit buying right back up, trying to contest bid. An equal exchange at middle thus far here. As Mo was able to pop off a scout shot onto Gabi before going down. Mid control trying to be assumed by Big. They do have a player... With the bomb at the top of it, but now he will shuffle back into spawn. They had a player trying to come underpass to connector as well, but exchange is going on in A and Adren getting the better of them as he's found two scout headshots. 
Hobbit chiming in, and this one looks like it's all but in the books, and so we're going to have a very back-and-forth affair to start this one off. I don't even. Three kills this round for the scout, one for Mo, and then Adren picks it up and does more of the same, and it's going to be Gambit not just surviving, not just taking the round down, keeping three players alive, and taking an M4 away from Big. Unbelievable. And now it's Big's turn to feel this thing once more. They know that the economy for Gambit's not great. They're going to be going for a force buy of their own. Oh, it's be a force back and forth as big or back to buying as well. Keeve is even going to have an AWP included in this one. He does find the opening kill onto Adrin as well. And so the slugfest continues, it feels like, as Big will put that smoke with Tapson on the connector side, or the stair side of connector to help them have more access to Catwalk without being burned from the A-bomb site, as well as maybe even looking to just get connector control and boost one in window. That looks like what they're going for. Hobbit waiting for it. Patience of virtue. One-on-one -on -one trade. Could get a whole lot better now for Gambit as they line up for Mo. And he will put them in their place. Keeve next player to fall. Dozier up on the toll booth. Will rain down Havoc. And Gambit now have taken a 3-1 lead. The force bite by Big. Not proving to be valuable in the end. Now they put themselves in a pretty bad position in terms of what they're going to have in this one. You're looking at maybe a PC-50 on next. And that's by and large going to be it. So Gambit do win the economic game of chicken to kick off this half after stringing together a couple of forces in a row. And that means that Big will now have to concede. It will just be P250s up for them as we do see Tapsa making his way through underpass the connector. The bomb carrier is with him as well. They're looking to split this A-bomb site perhaps or maybe even boost window again. Leggy will make his way up there. Last time he got batted down by Hobbit real quickly, but this time he's actually able to sneak in. He may even be able to get behind here at CT spawn, but the bomb's already been taken down in connector anyhow by Adrin, so it won't matter. That flank is probably going to have very little impact now. Leggy, P250, back on the CT boxes. Bomb dropped in connector. Okay, he's now got an AWP. That's going to definitely boost his chances. But Adrent will take that off him and save the up for the next round. Yeah, Adrent quietly before, got though. an ace there, by the way. Yeah, also got the ace. That's very true. He's 9 and 3. What a monster. But we've seen this before with incredibly powerful starts by Gambit, and they just kind of slip away. So let's see if they can continue the, uh, the pressure applied this time. He had a 5 0 start, if you remember, an overpass, and ended up losing yep. it. That is certainly true, as we are going to see Big setting up for an Execute right off the bat. They have plenty of utility to go in with, but we do see Fitch getting aggressive here. He's going to be able to find the first two kills, maybe even a third. Yes, he does. Absolute shutdown from Fitch. He even takes E down low. <laughs> Not like this, mate. He's on for the A's. It was some beautiful spray transfer. And he runs past Nex and gets obliterated Mo with a hell of a shot onto Nex and Gambit back into winning ways again. He's on the gear, man. Definitely. That's one way to shut down an A execute. Don't even let him up the ramp. I'd take a pause too if I were big after that. Yeah, just a detail, I guess. I mean, more than anything. It's not like you've played enough rounds to really to really have tried out all your plays or anything like that. I think this is definitely just to kind of calm everyone down. This is a, a huge opportunity for Big. I mean, they don't really get invited to a whole lot of events. They haven't really hit that caliber just yet. I mean, they obviously had a great showing at the major qualifier and the major itself. Took a big scalp off of Nip yesterday. They're battling Gambit pretty well here. So, I mean, getting to an event like ESO 1 New York would be huge for them. Oh, definitely. Same for Gambit as well, just to show that it's not all on Zeus, mm -hmm. their major win, and to prove that they still have the potential to stand with the big boys. 
And getting Fitch that early experience as quickly as you can in an offline setting like that's definitely going to be beneficial to them in the long term. I don't think Fitch has really played it at that caliber of a land event before. Yeah, I think this really is a, a huge opportunity for Fitch, and so far so good. We said we were going to reserve judgment before he played more games and against better opposition, but from what we've seen so far, I think he's been doing a pretty good job. Being said, big now. He's going to have Leggear off by himself once again. Understandable. My go for playing this kind of a situation, but it has left the rest of his team to play it down. And Gambit on conceding players, and ultimately that's what Big were hoping for, to at least take some of the economy away from Gambit, to get some kind of kills going oh, their way. They've got one from Keith, but that's it. Over 10k on two players, and Adren's not too far off. And so we will finally see Big back onto a full buy. It's going to include Keeve with the AWP. And so we'll see what they can get accomplished here on this default. Can you hear that, by the way? Hey, what? I'm just making sure you can. Never mind. That's good. You can't hear it. All good. There's like a dude with a chainsaw outside just going to town. Reasonable. Yeah. Didn't know if that was coming through my microphone, as that would have been an unreasonable thing for viewers to listen to. Maybe, they, maybe they prefer it, though. I don't know. Yeah. Yesterday I heard a train go past, a motorbike, yeah, yeah. thunderstorm, and now a chainsaw. Yep. Pretty solid combination. That's what happens when you live out in a small rural town. Adren first of all. Two incendiaries. Not too many nays to play with, though, for Gambit. Such is the life when you lose a player so early in the round. Gonna boost up onto the site. In a cheeky angle on top of the box. Three players strong in mid, one of which is Tabson, who's playing close to the connector. Interestingly, losing a player, they're still keeping two of their side on B. Typically, a lot of teams will actually go for maybe two on A, one mid and one B, but not for Gambit. And unfortunately, I think they're about to find out that's not the correct decision, so they're going to start to rotate through the kitchen. Keeping Hobbit on the side. Fitch can't stop the plan. And he can't stop Tabson either. This is looking like a real opportunity for Big now. Tabson with yet another one. Could be hunting for a third. Will land the third. Dozier in a one on five. Setting up for potential exit frags and really nothing more. There are four players that have been tagged up fairly lowly. Especially God B and Tabson. But this round's done. Big are going to try and create a comeback once again. And we know they have it in their locker. They've done it before already in this best of three. Those you will at least save the M4. Oh yeah, apparently the, uh, the chainsaw... Massacre's going on right now outside of Dust's house, so I'm gonna keep casting until it's I'm subsided. Back. Oh, he's back, okay. It was he's my survived. dad! It was my own dad Sam. sabotaging Sam. the cast with his chainsaw. He didn't know. That's all good. It's fixed now. No more chainsaws. Isn't it quite early there? It's like almost 11 a.m. Oh, okay. I thought it was earlier for some reason. I was just going to say, is your dad one of those guys that decides, yeah, I'm going to mow my lawn at 7 in the morning. Definitely does. Get out of my life with that. So the early trades have gone well. On the side of Big. Those he's been forced out of position on the B side. He's joined by Fitch. Not literally joined though, because Fitch is over on the A side of the map now. Those he comes in for two kills, and once again, he's going to light up the scoreboard. This does give Fitch a real opportunity to clutch now. Not just because the odds have been evened, but like he's only down to 23. The bombs in apps. There's so many things that are going to work against Big at this stage. But there is time on his side, so he can rotate. Oh, rotate how... each other. He just lost another 5 health, by the way. I would have laughed so hard if he cratered. <laughs> I don't think it's possible to lose enough health for him to have died there, but... 
That would have been the icing on the cake, wouldn't it? Just getting reset again for big would be pretty devastating. At least he gets the bomb plant money. And he's going to creep in the jungle. I don't think Fitch is going to expect this at all. Nope. Fortune favors the brave. It's, it's probably the one angle that you don't expect Leggy to be in at this stage. And he's going to get the drop on Fitch, or is he? Yes, he shall. Oh, no, Leggy, that was so close. <laughs> I bet he saw his life flash before his eyes there. He's like, oh no, I screwed it up. You know those cheeks were well clenched. Yep. Couldn't fit a spaghetti noodle through there. That's a mental image I didn't want. <laughs> That's your own fault for picturing it in your mind, to be honest, as... That was definitely a nail biter of a round, but it does go in favor of Big, so they do hold off Gambit for now, as it will be six to three. Lucky looking to get past the incendiary here, make something happen on B, but again shut down by Doge. It's happened a couple of times to Lucky trying to make a solo effort over there. Yeah, it has. And before you could give him a pass because they're on a pistol around this time. Mm. Uh, really? Why? It's rifle round, man. You don't want to be throwing that away. Maybe just need to calm things down a little bit for big. I mean, they are on a on a winning streak now, two rounds in a row. That can get taken away from them. Tabs and relocating into mid has spotted a dread. But partially due to the fact there's a smoke in his face and he has to turn tail and run anyway. Which is a pretty good position if they line up for him, nearly gets a double. With the CZ, one may be good enough. Mo has seen key if he's dropped down to 28. Does not bode well for big now. He's big entries. Maybe, maybe Tabson is the man to do just that. 14 health, oh. he's gone down, and that's it. This round's done. I feel like Tabson knew that he had that. He had him dead to rights, but Hobbit just there. The guardian angel from window room stopping Adrin from going down. Again, that was big, just looking a bit disjointed. I mean, Leggy had trying to come out, thought he caught a good timing on an incendiary upper B, thought he could, you know, use that to his advantage. Gets busted by Dozia. Fitch with the CZ up close on ramp gets a kill. Everything went Gambit's way in that round. Big not able to find a single opening, and now it's going to be a P250 rush at upper B, it looks like. As all five are gathered here, there's a smoke up, so they'll wait that out. As Dozier is playing up here, but he will now drop down. Look for some spam through the boards. Doesn't land one yet. And won't. Pretty much just dodging all those bullets, though. You can see him from the perspective of Tabson going right through the vault of the team. Tabson's going to get himself killed. Mo comes through one of his own in a second as well. He's about to get pushed from Keith. Oh. Not far off on the flick. Now Fitch should theoretically clean up, and he will do just that. Gambit, 8-3. to three. And Big, uh, they did challenge in that round, and I think that was a bit too close for comfort as far as Gambit were concerned. Yeah, it's just the rotate that came in from Gambit's what saved them there. Their initial B-hold did not work out whatsoever. But nonetheless, Gambit take the round. They're up 8-3, to three, but Big back onto a bye. A little bit lacking though, isn't it? There's no op on Keeve. They're having to use a UMP and a Galil. But it's going to be a little bit tougher on them to make things happen. As they do just kind of open up default here. They're going to shuffle pretty quickly back over to A though for just the 5 and execute. Again, Fitch playing aggressive on the A ramp. He's definitely done, done big dirty from this position a couple of times, but... He may just kind of hold back and, and just kind of spot at this point. But the utility's being set up, so they're definitely going to be knocking on the door of the A-bombs I hear any moment. Knock, knock. Here they come. Thompson. He's going to go in. I thought Fitch for a moment may have pulled off some kind of epic spray down, but not quite. And a Dren peering through the smoke. He's not oh back. He can't really line up, but he picks up three kills. So cheeky. That is a real tilt moment for big. 
maybe Eve can remedy the situation and detox them somewhat, but no, there's too much sodium in the veins. They're going to concede the round. Yep. And that's why you see a lot of teams now, and they smoke over towards jungle and stairs. They'll also throw a Molotov on bench to prevent that very thing. Just someone pushing the smoke and stuffing your plants. Because when you're planting for connector like that, if someone pushes the smoke, there's really no stop to them. And so Adrian just finds the perfect timing to get through and prevent the plant. And not only that, but he re-peaks a second time, catching them off guard once more. And it lines up two more frags. So Adrian with a big individual effort there. And now again... The German squad will be on another P rush with P250s. It almost worked out for them last time, so I guess they're going to try it again. This time, I think Hobbit has a much better incendiary grenade ready for them once they are spotted. Haven't quite pulled the trigger just yet on this push. They still have a smoke like he's just thrown that away. Now, as soon as that smoke expands, I expect to see big follow suits or not moving through underpass now going for the sneaky beaky play Smoke does tag onto next he knocked him down tonight with the headshot he's really been on point with our op today but so is next with the deagle Pitch will be favorite to clean up from here. And Gambit already hitting 10 rounds. They will be up against Big on another buy. And Big have the po possibility of maybe getting a fifth round on the board at the end of this half. But still quite a distance between then and now. And Gambit have really been just smooth sailing through this first half they have a massive lead they haven't really let up this time around big have only found a couple of rounds sprinkled out here and there never really able to find momentum for too long as hobbit does get caught trying to be a little bit aggressive here in the underpass that will give big an early advantage here as they were just opened up default they haven't really messed a whole lot with mid control though i feel like they will, you know, have some players upper B apartments and underpass, but there's never really anyone top middle. And, and this is another round where they seem to be shuffling over for an A execute. But Heave finding Fitch will certainly soften up the defenses here as well. That's yeah, going to be coming out for the wide peak. Only one kill will be going his way, but Mo is still alive with the up. And while he's alive, there's maybe a chance leg yet. We'll take that chance away. And this round should be following Dozier again on the B side. It isn't much fun when you're a B player and A site's been taken. Not too much you can do about the B take. There's the first one. Still has an incendiary. Maybe if he tosses that towards ramp, things might get a bit interesting. Has a kit now too. Moving into the site, but God B on point to deliver a headshot. Big, maybe, just maybe, can pick up a fifth after all. And it's certainly possible. Still an okay buy coming out of Gambit. However, there's enough money for Dozy to even pick up an AWP and drop it over to Mo. But he'll keep it for himself. All right, the X-God. Will he become the Op God? Only time will tell. He has the op at the back of the van. To be peering into apps. And he did highlight that Big haven't played top mid too much, so looks like maybe they've heard you there, Dust, and they're deciding that this is the round to just try that. And typically they like to have Mo with the op so we could peer up mid or maybe through connector. But that's not going to be happening, he only has a CZ. And they don't linger around mid too long either. I mean, they do leave Keeve behind to kind of lurk it out. But the focus will again be on pushing A, but look at Mo's position. If he times this just right, he could he could ruin the plans. That's it, exactly. It's all about timing. And he's going to get that kill relatively clean and loses 27 health. He's now got an AK. And that puts a lot of thought in the back of Big, Big's mind. If we do execute off ramp, we know there's a player in Palace. Or at least there was. So they decide to rotate. 
This could play right into Dozier because he hasn't moved an inch. He's now moved into B-Apps. He's been there for ages with the AWP just looking down for a potential pick. Well, he's been spotted, but does land the frag onto Legger all the same. 30 seconds, big. They've been denied on A, they've been denied on B. So mid seems to be the location of choice. And now they're going to find Hobbit, who's going to get the one kill. But again, it's information time of the essence. And now Keevan for help is all that remains. Not for much longer. Fitch with the smoke bank will take him out. 11-4. So Gambit do roll out a huge lead up 11-4. Short of big winning pistol. They could be seeing their tournament lives come to an end here on map number three on Mirage. And it could very well be Gambit moving on to play Envious in the finals to get that slot for ESL 1 New York coming up in September. As uh, there wasn't a whole lot out of big in that half. Really struggled to piece things together. Yeah, it was a poor half again. It's really been one side of maps throughout this entire series, to be honest. I mean, Train was just an absolute wreck. In favor of Gambit, previous map. I mean, yeah, I guess there was a comeback kind of involved in that one because Gambit did have a pretty pretty decent lead early on in the first half, but Big made a huge recovery and then didn't really let up in the second half whatsoever. And now we're on Mirage where, again, Gambit are off to a a crazy good start. Yeah, it's it's been one of those sort of streaky games because, as you say, both, both maps were one-sided, but the first half of Overpass was actually 8-7. No. However, even within that half, you had 5-0 to, I think it was 6-5, and then 8-7 it ended up. So even then, it was it was pretty much one-sided on, on either side of the coin for a little while. It hasn't necessarily been the the most entertaining of games to cast. You know, it's, it's been fairly efficient stuff, but both teams, mm -hmm. when they get in the lead, they typically stay there. Yeah. But big, their comeback actually really happens on overpass on their, their CT side. Yeah. Sorry, pardon me. On their T side, it was Gambit that had a really poor CT side on Overpass. So now Bigger going to the CT side of Mirage with Gambit in a massive lead and the T side on Overpass is where they really flourished. So it doesn't look great for Big. Yeah, again, a pistol is pretty much a must. It looks like we are going to see Gambit doing something a little bit similar to Big going for an execute. They only have one smoke on this one, though. So I'm not sure if maybe they're going to smoke CT spawn and look to attack into jungle and connector. That is like the other way you can try to approach things. They're actually just going to run in with a smoke on deep connector. I've been able to find a couple of entries. Adrin also chiming into it. So it's actually looking pretty decent for now. But they're still in a three on two. They still don't have that bomb down just yet. Bomb has now been planted. But Fitch is taking a bunch of damage through the wooden panels of staircase. And yeah, Gambit just pretty much rushing out onto the site. There wasn't too much tactically going on there. Big still couldn't really stand toe to toe with him. Fitch around the back is going to take down Leg. Yep. And I'll go B, who's on CT boxes. Needs to decide what his best avenue of approach will be. And he has given up the chase. He wants to save the kit, he wants to save the flash. So this round will go the way of Gambit. This is starting to stack up now against Big. And they may very well check CT. A lot of players will save in CT spawn. Hobbit's gone for it. And he will take down God B. The save was not worth. He's going to get denied in the last few seconds. Really no harm, no foul on that one. Would have been nice to have a free kit in this round, but it's not... Not, you know, critical levels of danger as we are going to see a double scout setup coming in for Big. So they're trying to get out there and see what they can do. Deagle on Tabson as well. Not bad hands to have it inside of, that's for sure. We are going to see Gambit just open up fairly default here. Dozia working over here towards the palace. A couple of players coming towards middle. They show some initial presence at the top, but now they will shuffle back over and gather up for an A execute. They do have three smokes, so they can do the standard hit. One smokes on CT jungle and stairs and just trying to trade frag their way in. There's two players in the area. It's actually a stack towards the B bomb site, and the road takes actually pretty far off as well because of how deep they are in B. Yeah, by the time that they know what's hit them, chances are the site's already fallen. Unless they can land some frags on the approach. 
Absent did a pretty solid job of keeping him at bay from Triple Box, but he's going to go down. The Molotov Fort's next out of his hidey hole, and he will follow suit. A Dread on Skeev, and expecting him to take down Lagir as well, but Gopi does have a Lil. However, AK will triumph. And if you cast your mind back to actually the second round of the first half, it was Gambit who actually went for a couple of uh, scouts. In fact, it was the third round after they got broken. They went for a scout. Mo got one and the Dren got two. That's the reason they won the round. Yep. So it is definitely a viable weapon and these sorts of buys from big, but not on this occasion. Yeah, it's one of those guns where not only can you get kills, but you can also soften up people for your upgraded pistols to finish off, be the assist master. That's what Fallen's really well known for with the scout in second round situation so certainly viable but doesn't really come out for big and now they do have to take essentially a full save just a couple of p250s as gambit are working their way up with that window room smoke and now another one on connector to get up catwalk freely only legia here stands to stop them and he does get one in the back of Moli with the 250 looks for more finds a second kill not too shabby but b bomb site will be taken and dozia will make sure that they can't rotate in as the bomb gets planted it's a solid nade as well, banking off the wall and landing in Bob B's pocket. Knocks him down to 19. Tabs in the meanwhile is going to put the USP to work. Headshot onto Hobbit. It's a 42, but the firepower definitely in favor of Gambit. And as we're starting to see, the pieces fall into place. Bob B going to look to jump up and maybe save one of these weapons if he can get his hands on them. But it's going to be Dozier who's on the prowl. He's actually positioning himself exactly for what Gobby's done. This is a really good call. The aim's not quite up to snuff, but finally he gets the kill. But I like that Dozy instantly placed himself there and says, okay, well, I'm going to make sure you don't get any of these weapons to take out this round. Absolutely well played. They actually carry over both their AKs as well, so they make sure that the most important guns make it over to this round without them having to spend for it. Mo will have an AWP. Fitch will be able to grab a rifle as well. Full utility sets out for Gambit. Double AWP for Big. They're going for broke here and now. Leggy is even a glass cannon, so that does make him a bit vulnerable. But double op is certainly viable on Mirage on CT side. But this is basically Big's last chance to stick around, or they may find themselves eliminated. Exactly. As a result of the extra firepower, Leggy no Kevlar, no kits, lack of nades. A dread. Oh, wow. Okay, finally gets the spray, but damn, that was that was rough to watch, especially from a player of his caliber. He's such a good player. You don't expect. Think him about Legia. He's dancing around, thinking, "Surely I get away with this, <laughs> right? Like, I can, nope. I can make it. I have the AWP, a valuable gun. He hasn't killed me yet. I'm, I'm almost in cover, and it just doesn't happen. And now He's B is once again bullet. taken by Gambit. Fitch has already cleared the side essentially, and he cuts off the first rotator. That hurts. Now they can't even go into B. If he would have got that kill, B's done deal. Yeah, that, that probably was the round. If uh, Fitch lands the kill, they may still get it as Mo flicks onto Tabson. They know that God B was last spotted in Kitchen. It's some pretty important information. Our next has gone down and Hobbit cleans up the rest. It's hard to see Big win the next 11 rounds. This should be Gambit. Taking this semi-finals and facing Envious for a spot at New York. Yeah, I mean, this would have been so huge for Big because they're not going to be at Malmo, right? I mean, they didn't get invited. They weren't able to make it through the qualifiers. So they're not going to be seeing a big tournament for a while. Until maybe one of the Pro League finals if they make it. Like an EPL or an ECS or something like that. So getting to New York would have been massive for them. And it may be denied here shortly. You see Hobbit hunting Keeve down in the underpass, so already one step closer for Gambit to meet Envious in the finals. Gambit on the brink. On the precipice, looking down. Next seven. The masses, UMP. Two flashes, a smoke. Where is this victory going to come from? If at all, is it going to be a huge individual performance? Is it going to be a whiff from Gambit? Some tactical prowess maybe from God B. The puppeteer pulling the strings of the rest of his team. Hobbit in the meanwhile is causing chaos and he's going to go out two players. Oh. He's just next by himself. He's gone down. The bomb would have been spotted. Surely he saw the bomb there. And now Big 
And I know this, the huge task that's ahead of them. Down goes Tabson. Got beat. All that remains. He's got the first. But Tozia is in position. If not, it's going to be Mo. And Gambit have done it. The major champions with Fitch are in the grand finals of the qualifier for New York. They'll face Envious in a best of three. If they win that, they'll be in New York next month. Indeed, that is what's going to be on the line. There's one more best of three left to determine who is going to be taking that European slot for ESL 1 New York. Obviously, we have the NA side of things going on as well, uh, which will be kicking off here actually pretty soon on those semifinals. I think that, that kicks off the next couple of hours. There will be a second stream running that alongside of us doing the grand finals of the European side. So you can definitely check in on that if you want to. I think we are going to be having a break coming up here. I, I don't know exactly how long it'll last. I'm sure Gambit won a little bit of a rest before they go into the grand finals. So we may have this one be a little bit longer than the ones you've seen before. Maybe like 20, 30 minutes or something like that before we get started. But it should certainly be kicking off very soon. And as myself, Dust, and Vince will be bringing you that action to determine who between Envious and Gambit will be going to New York. So stay tuned, folks. We will be back with more Counter-Strike.